Hello, everyone. This is Joan Maroney, your Mother of Mercy messenger. I am here solo today. Normally, there's Mother of Mercy messengers because my husband Dave is with me, but uh, he was unavailable today. He had something else going on. And um, so we're going to try to do this on my own. But I have great help. I've got Fawn helping and Terry helping to let everybody in as we go through the ninth day of our novena, our June novena. Half the year is already over 2024. Well, not over, but uh, we'll be kicking off uh, the second half when we come back on July 1st. And just to remind everybody, uh, this time together, we're praying in response to what the Lord told us to do for our native lands, to make a holy hour, to pray the, the chaplet of mercy, litany of the saints, to unite ourselves with him in holy communion. And then of course we add to that the holy rosary. We're not gonna forget about St. Joseph, the holy souls. But those of you that have been joining us, you know, this uh, month we've really dedicated to Eucharistic revival, particularly for our priests. And so uh, today, also on the ninth day of the novena of the Chaplet of Mercy that we do every month, we pray for um, the lukewarm. And so as we go through this holy hour today, I just want everybody to uh, be cognizant of that. And particularly maybe our, our lukewarm priests, you know, it's, it's a tough job. They get super busy, as we all do, with all the duties that we've got. Uh, they become spiritually dry and they are under attack and we just pray for them to um, be lit a fire for them especially with uh, eucharistic renewal and also reminding you that next month when we meet um, we will not have as we haven't had this month guest speakers but um, we will be meeting at our earlier time in lieu of a guest speaker well we might have some guest speakers but all of july the nine days of July and then into the nine days of August, we will be doing a series on Eucharistic miracles. Now, I don't know about you, but I never heard of a Eucharistic miracle until I was in my 20s, mid 20s, when I started teaching religious education uh, to eighth, seventh and eighth graders and then became aware. And I thought that is that is terrible. So um, the Lord is revealing himself and has throughout the centuries and in a lot of ways, even in these days. And so we're looking forward to sharing that with everybody to help us all grow deeper in our love and devotion to the Holy Eucharist. So I am going to, let's see, see if I can remove my spotlight, sorry. There we go. All right, so we're ready. We're gonna be zooming over to Vilnius, Lithuania, where that beautiful Divine Mercy, original painting of the Divine Mercy is on display. And we will dive into prayer. So, okay, share screen, click on it. Here we go. Ta -da. Yay. All right. So we'll be clicking in and remember we are in the presence of the Lord. Those rays of mercy just come right out, touch the hearts of everyone gathered here. Before we do that, we remember Brother Lauren Faria. Those of you that don't know, Lauren would help us. He wasn't a religious brother, but he just because he was part of Crucio, but he would help us bring people in. He helped um, host the monthly uh, kind of Divine Mercy for America social hour where everybody gets together uh, just to chit chat and get to know each other. And his life was tragically taken a year ago last April as he was walking to the bus early one morning. He lived in um, near Stockton, California. I was it in Stockton? And um, so we pray for him. We seek his intercession and we pray for the, for the young man that took his life. He was just an 18 year old kid. So brother Lauren, we love you and we miss you. 
And here we are in the chapel. Golly, Lord, you're in every tabernacle all around the world, and you lament that you are lonely, that people seldom come and unite themselves to you, either in Holy Communion or spend time with you. Well, we're here to spend time with you now, Lord Jesus. And we are appreciative of the Bishop of Archbishop of Vilnius that has perpetual adoration in this chapel um, with the live feed so that any time we can come here and receive his grace, his mercy, and give him our love and consolation. So we're going to begin our holy hour, as we always do, with the spiritual communion prayer. And why do we do the spiritual communion prayer? It's because Jesus, one of the first things he told her, and Our Lady told her too, about praying for her native land, to pray for her country of Poland, for its sinfulness, for its ingratitude, was to make uh, a novena of holy communions. And so every day of this novena, we begin with the spiritual communion. And we know that a spiritual communion can be just as efficacious as receiving Jesus sacramentally. Um, it, it's best to receive him sacramentally. Don't get me wrong. We want to receive him, you know, the host but along with receiving the host, we need to be spiritually united with him. And Jesus lamented to St. Faustina how often he would come to human hearts in Holy Communion, and they treated him as a dead object. So we just make sure that when we do do that, we're completely aware that we are putting God in, inside of us who's humbled himself in this piece of bread. And we're thankful right now that we can receive these same graces just by really spiritually uniting ourselves. So we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never, never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Prayer by St. Alphonsus Liguri. We follow in the footsteps of the saints as we all strive for sainthood, our calling. And we'll begin the holy hour <clears throat> with the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to Thee. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. When we pray this, our Father, for the welfare and well-being of the Holy Father of the Pope, the Lord to preserve the office of the papacy from all evil. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And we pray the three Hail Marys for the virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, oops, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Okay, so Kathy and Dottie. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection. Bring hither thy hand and put it into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forget in those morning. who trespass against us. Be it for me. Not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven especially those who most need of thy mercy. The second glorious mystery is the ascension of our Lord into heaven. Let's pray for the fruit and grace of faith, hope, and trust. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, here on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The third holy mystery, the Holy Spirit descends upon Mary and the apostles. Now when the day of Pentecost arrived, they were all together in one place. Suddenly, a sound like a violent rushing of wind came from the sky and filled the entire house where they were staying. Tongues, as of fire, appeared to them, parting and coming to rest upon each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues according to how the Spirit inspired them to think and to speak. We ask for the grace for an outpouring of all the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And we ask the Lord to preserve unity among all Christians around the world. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but to deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our sins. sins. Save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The fourth glorious mystery, the assumption of our Blessed Mother into heaven. O glorious Mother Mary, meditating on the mystery of thy assumption into heaven, when consumed with the desire to be united with thy divine Son in heaven, thy soul departed from thy body and united itself to him, who out of the excessive love he bore for thee his mother, whose virginal body was his first tabernacle, took that body into heaven and there, amidst the acclaims of the angels and saints, reinfused into it thy soul. Fruit of the mystery, union with Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, especially those who have most need of thy mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, the <clears throat> coronation. A great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head, a crown of 12 stars. Fruit of the mystery, trust in Mary's intercession. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our light, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping of this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us our blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation. Grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And so we'll pray the Our Father, Hail Mary, and glory be for the Holy Father's intentions by doing this we can receive a plenary indulgence we play, since we're praying the rosary publicly. And if you've been to communion and you've been to confession recently or go soon, so we can apply this indulgence to a, a holy soul in purgatory. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen now glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls amen most sacred heart of jesus have mercy on us immaculate heart of mary pray for us saint joseph pray for us the prayer to saint joseph to you O blessed joseph do we come in our tribulation and having implored the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently invoke your patronage also. Through that charity, which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and through the maternal, paternal love with which you embrace the child Jesus, we humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance in which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood. And with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities, O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. O most loving Father, ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. Our, o our most mighty protector, be kind to us and from heaven assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity, 
Shield too, each one of us by your constant protection, so that supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously, to die in holiness, and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. Thank you, everyone. Okay. We turn to all the saints. We pray the litany of the saints. So Fawn and Terry are going to lead the first half. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Saint Michael, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, pray for us. Saint Raphael, pray for us. All you holy angels and archangels, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. All you holy patriarchs and prophets, pray for us. Saint Peter, pray for us. Saint Paul, pray for us. Saint Andrew, pray for us. Saint James, pray for us. Saint John, Pray for us. St. Thomas. Pray for us. St. James. Pray for us. St. Philip. Pray for us. St. Bartholomew. Pray for us. St. Matthew. Pray for us. St. Simon. Pray for us. St. Jude. Pray for us. St. Matthias. Pray for us. St. Barnabas. Pray for us. St. Luke. Pray for us. St. Mark, pray for us. All you holy apostles and evangelists, pray for us. All you holy disciples of the Lord, pray for us. All you holy innocents, pray for us. St. Stephen, pray for us. St. Lawrence, pray for us. St. Vincent, pray for us. St. Fabian and Sebastian, pray for us. St. John and Paul, pray for us. Saints Cosmos and Damien, pray for us. All you holy martyrs, pray for us. Saint Sylvester, pray for us. Saint Gregory, pray for us. Saint Ambrose, pray for us. Saint Augustine, pray for us. Saint Jerome, pray for us. Saint Martin, pray for us. Saint Nicholas, pray for us. All you holy bishops and confessors, pray for us. All you holy doctors, <clears throat> pray for us. Saint Anthony, pray for us. Saint Benedict, pray for us. Saint Bernard, pray for us. Saint Dominic, pray for us. Saint Francis, pray for us. Saint Pio, pray for us. All you holy priests and Levites, pray for us. All you holy monks and hermits, pray for us. Saint Mary Magdalene, Pray for us. Saint Agatha. Pray for us. Saint Lucy. Pray for us. Saint Agnes. Pray for us. Saint Cecilia. Pray for us. Saint Anastasia. Pray for us. Saint Catherine. Pray for us. Saint Claire. Pray for us. Saint Elizabeth. Pray for us. Saint Faustina. Pray for us. All you holy virgins and widows. Pray for us. All you holy saints of God, pray for us. Lord, be merciful. Lord, save your people. From all evil. Lord, save your people. From all sin. Lord, save your people. From your wrath. Lord, save your people. From a sudden and unprovided death. Lord, save your people. From the snares of the devil. 
Lord, save your people. From anger, hatred, and all ill will. Lord, save your people. From the spirit of uncleanness. Lord, save your people. From lightning and tempest. Lord, save your people. From the scourge of earthquake. Lord, save your people. From plague, famine, and war. Lord, save your people. From everlasting death. Lord, save your people. By the mystery of your holy incarnation. Lord, save your people. By your coming. Lord, save your people. By your birth. Lord, save your people. By your baptism and holy fasting. Lord, save your people. By your cross and passion. Lord, save your people. By your death and burial. Lord, save your people. By your holy resurrection. <clears throat> Lord, save your people. By your wonderful ascension. Lord, save your people. By the coming of the Holy Spirit. Lord, save your people. On the day of judgment. Lord, save your people. Do you want to switch? Sure. Be merciful to us sinners. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will spare us. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will pardon us. Lord, hear our prayer. That it may please you to bring us to true penance. Lord, hear our prayer. Guide and protect your holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Preserve in holy religion the Pope and all those in holy orders. Lord, hear our prayer. Humble the enemies of Holy Church. Lord, hear our prayer. Give peace and unity to the whole Christian people. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring back to the unity of the Church all those who are straying, and bring all unbelievers to the light of the Gospel. Lord, hear our prayer. Strengthen and preserve us in your holy service. Lord, hear our prayer. Raise our minds to desire the things of heaven. Lord, hear our prayer. Reward all our benefactors with eternal blessings. Lord, hear our prayer. Deliver our souls from eternal damnation and the souls of our brethren, relatives, and benefactors. Lord, hear our prayer. Give and preserve the fruits of the earth. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant eternal rest to all the faithful departed. Lord, hear our prayer. That it may please you to hear and heed us, Jesus, Son of the living God. Lord, hear our prayer. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, ladies. <clears throat> now we turn to the great Saint Gertrude with this prayer. Um, I just want to interject here the why we pray this prayer. It's not one that Saint Faustina was told to pray for her country. But of course, um, we are called to pray for the holy souls in purgatory. It's one of the greatest works of mercy that we could do and the marian fathers our founder blessed stanislaus oh no excuse me he is saint now stanislaus popchinski from the 1600s the marian charism at the very beginning uh, centered around praying for the holy souls especially those unprepared for death those that died on the battlefields and in today's world there is so much death so much darkness the Lord promised to St. Gertrude and St. Faustina also wrote about it, that she prayed 
united her prayers with all the sacrifices of the mass and the lord showed her that 1000 souls received grace and there is at least 66 of us here because i know some of you are joining us and there's more praying with us so just think about it 66000 souls to be released from purgatory just by this little prayer right here right now thank you lord jesus okay janice you want to lead us the prayer to saint gertrude the great eternal father i offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son jesus in union with the masses said throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory for sinners everywhere for sinners in the universal church those in my own home and within my family amen amen it's beautiful the original uh, what i understand this prayer when it was taken to the holy father he added to pray for the, the church, sinners in the church, those in my own home and within my family. And uh, the Lord gives the right to his vicar here on earth to add that. So it's extremely powerful prayer. I encourage everyone to pray it often. And thank Dottie is the one who recommended we pray that. So thank you, Dottie. Okay. We move on to the chaplet of divine mercy. As we said at the beginning, we also incorporate the novena since we're meeting here for nine days that St. Faustina was instructed to make in preparation for the Feast of Mercy beginning on Good Friday. But uh, you can pray it at any time. <clears throat> in Stockbridge at the National Shrine Divine Mercy, they pray it perpetually. And so we've incorporated it here in this nine-day novena. And so Helen will be leading us on the intention for today. The Novena, Ninth Day. Today, bring to me souls who have become lukewarm and immerse them in, my, in the abyss of my mercy. Most compassionate Jesus, you are compassion itself. I bring lukewarm souls into the abode of your most compassionate heart. In this fire of your pure love, let these tepid souls who like corpses, filled you with such deep loathing, be once again set aflame. O most compassionate Jesus, exercise the omnipotence of your mercy and draw them into the very ardor of your love and bestow upon them the gift of holy love, for nothing is beyond your power. Eternal Father, Turn your merciful gaze upon lukewarm souls who are nonetheless enfolded in the most compassionate heart of Jesus. Father of mercy, I beg you by the bitter passion of your son and by his three hour agony on the cross, let them too glorify the abyss of your mercy. Amen. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death, amen. 
I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Thank you, BJ. Okay, Dottie. Eternal Father, I offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In a tone of sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, everyone. Oh, Immaculate Mother, Queen of our country, open our hearts, our homes, and our land to the coming of Jesus, your divine Son, with him, reign over us, O oh, Heavenly Lady, so pure and so bright, with the radiance of God's light shining in and about you. 
be our leader. against the power of evil set upon rescuing the world of souls redeemed at such a great cost by the sufferings of your son and of yourself in union with him from the same savior who loves us with infinite charity we gather about you all chaste and holy mother, virgin immaculate, patroness of our beloved land, determined to fight under your banner of holy purity. Uh, 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 holy purity against the wickedness that will make all the world an abyss of evil without God, and without your loving maternal care, we consecrate our hearts, our homes, our land, to your most pure heart, our great queen, that the kingdom of your son, our redeemer, and our God may be firmly established in us. We ask no special sign of you, sweet mother, for we believe in your great love for us, and we place in you our entire confidence. We promise to honor you by faith, love, and the purity of our lives. According to your desire, reign over us, then O oh, Virgin Immaculate, with your Son Jesus Christ, may his divine heart and your most chaste heart be ever enthroned and glorified among us. Use us, your children of America, as your instruments and bring peace among men and nations. Work your miracles of grace in us so that we may be a glory to the blessed Trinity who create, redeem, and sacrifice us. May your brilliant spouse, Saint Joseph, with the holy angels and saints, assist you and us in renewing the face of the earth. Then, when our work is over, come, holy, immaculate mother, and as our victorious queen, lead us to the eternal kingdom where your son reigns forever as king. Amen. Our Lady of America, be with us and protect our nation. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Evan. Nice job. You're welcome. It's Jamie. Tantum ergo sacramentum, venerem vacernui, et anticum documentum, la voce d'adritui, Prestet fide supplementum, sensum defectui, genitori genitoque, asset jubilum. 
Thank you, Lord. God bless us all. We lift up all the intentions that have been presented to you, particularly during this novena. We lift up all the clergy, all the priests throughout the world. Their hearts may be inflamed, the fire of your love, especially for your true presence in the Blessed Sacrament, and that they may boldly proclaim and teach their flock. Lead them in reverence, lead them in devotion, lead them in faith. We ask all this through the intercession of St. Maria Faustina of the Most Blessed Sacrament and Our Lady of the Eucharist. Amen. Okie dokie, there we are. All right, everybody. Well, I want to thank everyone that's joined us, all of you who continue to make these novenas. I think we have several. This is our, we're on our fourth year. We have some people that have been doing meeting with us every single month. Mm -hmm. And we know you can't all always meet. Uh, live, but I know a lot of you then tune in at your convenience uh, to get the recording. So as soon as we finish this, I'll go to work with uploading it. And um, just can't thank you enough. Hope you will spread this and try to start planting the seeds now for the the novena in uh, July and August. As I mentioned, we will be uh, highlighting a, a different Eucharistic miracle. We'll start off on July 1st with talking about our soon-to-be Saint Carlo Acutis and uh, where it is because they've just announced it. And on that day, we mentioned this earlier, on July 1st, they will officially um, at the Vatican be voting. I guess they can vote not to, <laughs> to canonize him, but I think that that's pretty slim. So it should be a, 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 doy, a day of great joy. And, other, and others, too, that are they're going to be canonized. I'm, I, I'm not sure who they are, but it's awesome to welcome more into the church triumphant. Where we're all headed. We are all headed that way, right? Okay, mm -hmm. so I, I turn it over to you, dear friends. Any questions, comments, announcements? Actually, I do have a comment. Um. I told uh, my friend, Carlo Jonathan, about Carlo, that he's going to be canonized. Oh, you did? I bet he was yeah, happy to hear. I, oh, yeah. Actually, um, he, he does have the image of him in his oh. church. Nice. Nice. So, so that's why I told him about it. Good job, Evan. Good job. Um, let me see. Uh, yeah, Catherine asks, how often does this happen? Once a month or daily? Thank you for answering, Cheryl. We we meet every day, the first through the ninth. Um, as again, like I said earlier, these are the novenas that you know Saint Faustina was asked to make. They're they're woven, and this is a big book. <laughs> so it's not like there's a section on novenas for the country um, until Joan Maroney gets a chance to sit down and write that book, which I've been wanting to do for over ten years mm. now. Um, one day it will come out about the way the Lord asks us to pray for our countries and all that. But anyway, in here are these nine, these uh, four novenas, communion, holy hour, litany of the saints, and chaplet of divine mercy. And um, so we just thought nine days of doing it, the first through the ninth made sense. Mm -hmm. She wasn't told to do them the first through the ninth. She started, you know, one novena, she was told to make a litany of the saints. She started the very next day. 
but we just have found a way to put all four novenas into one hour, make that holy hour, and including the Holy Rosary. And as you all know, then we've over time added a, a couple of other really important prayers. We don't want to leave St. Joseph out. And we don't want to forget about the mm -hmm. little souls. And then, of course, as Divine Mercy for America, um, we incorporated the Our Lady of America. And we've spoken extensively about her. And she is not just for America. The promise of Our Lady of America is that through America, as she said in the prayers, mm -hmm. if she is processed and given a place in the Basilica, and we we implore her help and we seek the, the gift of purity, miracles greater than at Fatima and Lourdes that would if, impact the whole world. So it's not just for America. It's not just for our country. It's really what will snowball. They say that after that, that Our Lady of All Nations and this is what really is going to trigger the whole triumph of the Immaculate Heart. And for some reason, even though this request came for this from her back in the 1950s, it still has not been fulfilled. And wow. um, it's sad because, uh, as we know, it's the lack of purity that incites so mm. much sinfulness, sins of the flesh, but all other kinds of sins, right? Our purity of intention, our purity of a heart. It fuels jealousy mm -hmm. and rife and division and, and, and lust. everything else. Mm -hmm. And lust. So, so we pray to Our Lady of America and, and for this to happen. So that's why we incorporated her. And um, so we just, uh, again, I uh, thought that the first through the ninth, it's easy to remember nine days. We start the month off. We go through first Friday, first Saturdays, first Wednesdays with the St. Joseph. So that just kind of encapsulates uh, what we've been doing and why. So yes, please come back. Um, easy to remember the first nine days. Yes, come back in July. And that, how an important time too in July. The Eucharistic Congress is going on. The pilgrimages are going on. It's for here in the United States. It's we celebrate <laughs> Independence Day. <laughs> we, need to, we need to continue to pray for our country and its leadership and our church and all of that. But y'all are doing it. We're all doing it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Uh, hey, John. Yes, Evan. Okay, I'm speaking of Our Lady of America. Mm -hmm. Um, have of her warnings is being fulfilled of the youth that oh, being it's not a warning you mean uh actually um actually i did read her warnings yet yeah, uh, right so so half half of them is being fulfilled half of them but it focuses, but it focuses on the youth the of our nation. Yeah, that is being fulfilled. Yes, yes, she does say um, that there will be an uprising of the youth, and I think yeah. Blessed Carlo personally has a lot to do with that. Right? We've already seen it; it's already happening. Mm -hmm. And and you know what happens if you look through history? You know, we wane, we go back and forth, right? We go way this way, and then the youth kind of rebels and comes back the other way. So as we got <laughs> really free spirited with the kickoff of the 60s and sex drugs and rock and roll young people have suffered you know and a lot of have suffered the effects of that and we're able to see history paints the picture of mm -hmm. uh, something ain't right here and we need to get back to traditional values and um, praise god uh, it will happen it will happen because it's not how yeah. god intended the world to be and people to live their lives right so mm -hmm. trying for the Immaculate Heart is coming. We just can't lose faith. Got to keep keep trusting and helping others to to trust in God's ways too. So, okay. Anybody else? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just have something to say to Evan. Evan, you said that prayer so beautiful. Thank <laughs> you. They should canonize you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That was the most beautiful prayer. You said it's so wonderful. I our lady must be smiling. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so touched and honored. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. He's our little saint. He's our yes. He's our saint. We we lost uh we had a very um 
holy soul too that was brother lauren who was with us and then yes. shortly after that and you know here, here was evan to really help us stay grounded and uh mm -hmm. youthful and mm -hmm. with the holy spirit so evan you're a blessing to all of us thank you okay so uh, yeah helen go ahead What's the date of that uh, Maroni and Flynn? Uh... <laughs> the Maronis and the Flynn's? <laughs> <laughs> the Maroni and the Flynn's. Yes, that will be on. Um, it's my in it, it, it's my email. It's Tuesday on the 18th, 3 p.m. Okay. Eastern. The Divine Mercy Hour. Maureen was a little concerned about it. I go, oh, it's a great time to meet the Mercy Hour. We need the mercy. And um, so uh, hopefully that meeting will go a little bit smoother than the one that we had on uh, the other day. True. Uh, and I'm uh, with uh, the sister of Sister Anna Ali. I, I'm still getting questions on when is that video going to be available. If you're still looking for it, don't look for mm -hmm. it yet, guys, because it's going to require... <laughs> Uh, a lot of editing, but it's going to be a beautiful oh. product uh, once it's done and we will get it out just as soon as we can. We have a very, very busy week um, this week. We are, so we have the the Maronis and the Flynn's. Is that this week? No, mm -hmm. that's next week. Next week, the 18th. On the 17th will be the um, social hour. Prayer Warriors Social Hour. Eloise will be back and uh, hosting that so gather together on monday i'll be sending out the um reminders for that and will we send the reminders out also for the maroni and the flins and uh, for those of you that don't know what we're talking about uh, ted and maureen flynn um have been blazing the trails of lay people working in the apostolates from from the late 80s early 90s uh, Ted wrote Thunder of Justice, and they have mm. Praying Fast for America and Signs and Wonders. They're both incredible, brilliant people, and um, we've just been blessed to really get to know them. And uh, and then Dave and I are celebrating our 25th year in work in the apostolate. And so talking with wow. Ted and Maureen, we thought it would be really just a great idea to sit down and chit chat about the role of the laity which was really a call mm -hmm. from Vatican II. And actually the role of the lady was a call from the renovator of the Marian Fathers, who was the Archbishop of Vilnius back in the turn of the last century, the 19, early 1900s. The Marian Fathers were down to one priest. And wow. uh, Bishop um, George Machulaitis decided to rewrite their rule and uh, rewrote it and... Um, and wrote in there that they needed to have not just priests and religious, the, the brothers, but laity needed to be involved because laity could go where the priests cannot go. Mm. Right. You know, yes. they're mainly yeah. in the churches and maybe in the schools, but you know, we're, we're at the bedsides, we're in the homes, we're in the schools, we're, you know, we're everywhere. Uh, we're in the grocery stores. Uh, we're everywhere. We're in the bleachers. We're in the stands. We're in the hospitals. We're in the military. We're, we're everywhere. And so he was very, um, uh, had a lot of foresight in that. And um, then when Vatican II came around, they talked more mm -hmm. about, about the role of the lady. And um, so, in fact, when we were invited to participate in this ministry, it was not our idea. Wasn't like we were like, wait, lady, we need to go out and spread divine mercy. We were asked to do it, had to discern if this was what God wanted us to do, meant quitting our jobs and all that kind of thing. But um, it was the time that they were really promoting the new evangelization. And the new evangelization was really doing what I believe it was um, Archbishop Fulton Sheen said, we need mm -hmm. to wake in the sleeping, sleeping giant. And mm -hmm. that's the lay people. And... You know, like my dad would say, you know, the people that everything was left up to the nuns and the priests and the brothers to teach at school. So you didn't really maybe you were a devout family or prayerful family. But, you know, getting involved in the church was left up to to those that had the vocation to belong in the church. So the lady just kind of took a, a back seat. Well, we've been forced to get involved in the church. 
because uh, we're lacking the vocations, you know, in the 60s, mm -hmm. the vocations really started to drop off and the devil intervened. But God makes good come out of everything because every single one of us, we share in the priesthood of Christ by virtue of our baptism. And we have a role to play in evangelization, no matter who we are, where we are, what we're doing, right? Number one, by the way, we live our lives, but also we need to know our faith and we need to speak about it and boldly proclaim it. So we're going to get together with the Flynn's and they each kind of have their strengths of what they've done and their projects that they're working on and then and Dave and I, but it, it, it should be fun and we're looking forward to um, sharing what our lives are like working, working day and night for the church, but we all do no matter what you do, you know, so. Okay. And Joan, and what time is that going to be on 18th? Three Eastern. Okay. Thank you. Divine and, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and thank you. And have you uh, mentioned something about the Senecals? Uh, like yesterday because I, I couldn't make oh, it yesterday oh 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 yes the cynicals so, okay last month we talked about uh, father Gobi and the marian movement of priests and having an online cynical we had a hiccup on that where the books there's a i had a um one of my board members ordered the books but gave the wrong address and so i i should be getting them any day so once i have them i will let everybody know some of you wanted to order and I don't know, maybe it will be on the 19th. We just got a lot on our plate right now. I've got some some serious mm -hmm. family things going on. With, oh. and, um, so we're just kind of like trying to hold everybody together. But um, that, that will be the goal, will be the 19th. Thanks for reminding me about that, Deborah. What that will entail. You're we'll, welcome. We will meet together via Zoom. Um, we basically uh, just start off, we pray the Holy Rosary together, and then mm -hmm. we will read a, um, a passage from the book to, to our priests, and uh, then we have a few, it just depends how many we have on, on where then we can comment about it, talk about what we think about it just for a few minutes, and then we pray the act of consecration prayer. Mm -hmm. So this book is available through the Marian Movement of Priests, which is located up in Maine. The problem is the only way you can get it is if you send them snail mail, a check, like, you know, in the day, you know, they don't have a way, let me put it this way, to go online and order the books, okay? Hmm. In the past, and what we just did now too, since we have a, we will have a cynical, they're allowing me, we went ahead and ordered and are getting like 20 or 22 of 18 or 20 of these, okay, that I'm paying for, that Divine Mercy for America is paying for because it's a suggested donation of, I think, $25 to cover the cost of the book. So we're sending them awesome. a payment for the book, and then we will put it on our website, okay, uh -huh. um, of, but or send the link but it's only available for people who are going to technically be in a cynical in other words you won't be able to go to a catholic bookstore and just find this it's not meant to be a book like that you just read i don't know why that's just that's their rules so for years we had it just on our website and people could order and i was just trying to help people that um you know, like one guy wrote, the young guy, and he said, I don't have a checking account. <laughs> I do everything electronic, you know, because a checking account, who has a checking account? I'm like, okay. <laughs> First century, you're right. All right. Well, I have a checking account, but anyway. <laughs> so, but then they made me take it down after a while. They said that they didn't want it sold just like that. I pleaded. I mean, and I went back like three times saying, but for anybody who wants to belong as often as you can join into the cynical, um, we will, uh, we'll have them and we'll make them available. So I will get information out just as soon as we have, them. but you guys, this book, this has got it all. This has got everything of what the world is facing. Our Lady began appearing to mm -hmm. Father Gobi. And his, we felt last month called to talk about him. 
And um, because our formation came a lot from belonging to Senecal in here. And so we kind of said, all right, we're going to set one day aside and we will talk about Father Gobi. In fact, Peter Lepre was supposed to be our guest at the last minute. He said he didn't feel like Mm -hmm. it. So I was like, okay, well, let's talk about Father Gobi. That day I found out that they just opened his cause for canonization. So Mm -hmm. it's totally legit. He's Mm -hmm. just an incredible priest, traveled everywhere, all over the world. And um, Our Lady speaks so beautifully about really encouraging priests to be consecrated because of this was, like I said, starting in the early uh, 70s, I think it was. Yeah, 1974, before all the scandals were starting to hit and the devil was really going after the priests. She warned oh, wow. them. She warned mm-hmm. them. You know, and to join together to to like we do, you know, to get encouragement from from fellow priests. And um, so that's a main part. Another part is the importance of our consecration. And I don't remember the third part. Anyway, it's it's an incredible book. So, yes, Doreen. I have a question. My mom was part of the Seneca like decades ago. Was this the same book? Because if so, I've still got it. (laughs) Yes, 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 it is. Uh, Father Gobi, what what they would do is if you ordered the book, you know, maybe like in 1992, um, well, would only have the messages up through 1991, and then then you would be registered with them, and then every year they would send you a supplement of the, the messages from the past year. So the books that are available now, so I don't know, Doreen, like when was the last time you had the book, but this, what we have now then is the complete book that goes, I think it's all the way like to 1997 or 1998. Okay, um, I'll check it out. Yeah. Um, yeah, 1997, it went through 1997. Perfect, thank you, You're very welcome. interesting. Oh. Hey, John. Yes. I, um, that, uh, that night I asked Professor Carlo to be my patron saint. And what did he say? Actually, um, actually I did, actually, I, actually I did a deep fetch on him and he's also a gamer like me. You're a gamer. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes. well, actually, actually, um, Carlo, but Carlo is also a gamer as well. Awesome. Awesome. So, I didn't know that. Uh, well, I guess all young people are. Yeah. And so, so I want him to be my patient saint because I need his help with my games. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck on that. Maybe he will, since you're such a good, good, good guy. He'll help you out in any way he can, I'm sure. I know. All right. Okay. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Am I forget anything, Fawn? That's that's all I can think of. You covered everything and and more. Um, I I will tell you guys. I'm I don't know where I got started with this, but something came out. I don't know a couple months ago. At, so I set my alarm for six thirty p.m. It doesn't matter what time zone you're on. It's just six thirty your time say three Hail Marys for peace and an end to war. (laughs) It takes only a few minutes. So just if you, if you're able to set your alarm and three Hail Marys. Three Hail Marys. At 6.30 in the morning? Yeah. Mm. Three Hail Marys. Okay. Okay. Yeah, just be in constant prayer, right? And that's what uh, Sister Anna Lee's sister said. The Lord was like, just think of me constantly. And he would he would get jealous of St. Faustina if she was, you know, going through her minds of a problem with one of the other sisters or she was in the hospital. And he would, he was, mm-hmm. very, he's a very jealous guy. <laughs> he's, wow. He's, Why are you thinking about <laughs> anybody else or anything else but me? So when I kind of get worried of stuff, then I just er, try to refocus and include him in everything. That's the divine will. That's living in the divine will, right? True. Mm-hmm. Well, I read guys, that any anytime you have anything, if you want to offer up, if you want, if you're having struggles, all you do, 
all you have to do is just call upon the name of Jesus and he knows and he's he'll he'll be with you at that in that split second just call upon his name and and uh okay you know no matter what so Jesus 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 I trust in you and our lady of America as well our lady that's you right go. our lady of America I'm also she will hoping lead us to him yeah and I'm also hoping to uh do another interview too with uh Kevin uh, McCarthy on mm. um uh, who's our, an expert on Our Lady of America to kind of talk about this last document that came out from Rome on apparitions and all that kind of thing just to kind of mm -hmm. we were talking about it the other day I go we need to do a video but it's that's going to be a couple weeks away but we got a lot on our plate so let me know John yes I will I will let you all know thank you please pray for each other every day when you say your prayers lift up the divine mercy team and prayer warriors and everybody's prayer intention always and um uh reach out to us if you need anything special we will be back uh well before i join you all again on the 17th like i said will be the the meeting and then yeah. on the 18th the maronis and the flins and then we'll be going from there okay okay love you all thank you so much mm. bye y'all great people God bless. Thank you. Thanks. you did great yeah yes great job with great job thanks thanks great job john Dave ah, checked in going. once or twice. Oh, How's it going? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Peace be with you. Uh, Michaeline's got her surgery next Friday too. So everybody, her colon cancer surgery. Michaeline, we will we'll offer our masses, you guys. Let's just remember her. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're okay. welcome. Good night. Did she say what time in the chat? Because I my phone had went out at that time. She didn't say what time. She oh, just okay. Okay. yeah, okay. It's just on right. Friday. Start praying okay. for her on Thursday. Let's. Thank you. Oh, that's a good, good idea. That's yeah. right. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. You're welcome. Right. Deb. We will. We will. Thank All you. Right. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.